All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we'd like to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well, and the Shalom to the elect out there pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. You know, uh, pretty much, uh, we're just going to go into a lesson, uh, you know, what confuses most Christians out here in the scriptures, you know, you have a couple, you know, a few scriptures uh, here and there that, you know, um, um, that people run with, man. You know, they come across scriptures like here, you see on the screen, Acts 15 and 24, and they run with it being simple and not having understanding, man. You know? Um, so, you know, uh, Lord willing, through the Spirit, uh, we're going to go on through these scriptures and uh, we're going we're, we're gonna to give the understanding of it, man. You know? Um, we're going to start, you know, right here in uh, ver Acts 15 and 24. It says, For as much as we, ha we have heard that certain which went out from us troubled you with words subverting your soul saying ye must be circumcised and keep the law to whom we gave no such commandment you know so um you know simple people they'll read this and they'll run with it and they'll say see you don't have to keep the law you know uh being simple man not knowing the understanding of it man so um you know uh, pretty much what was going on right here if um, you go to the first verse is Acts 15 and 1 it says and certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren brethren and said except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses ye cannot be saved man you know and, and what they were doing is they were being over righteous man you know uh, at the time back then when the law was given it was carried out to the point to the teeth you know, if, if you committed a sin worthy of death, then you died, man. For every every sin that you did, you, you got the judgment uh, recompense for it, man. But but now, the Lord gave us grace, man. But only uh, when we fuck up uh, unwillingly, man. Mm -hmm. You know, when we mess up unwillingly. Right? Um, can you bring that 2 Corinthians uh, okay. 3 and 6? This is 2 Corinthians 3, verse 6. It says, Who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament. It says, Not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. Right. So that's what it was. It was the, le the letter back then killed us, man. Because all of us, everybody here has done sins worthy of death, man. Everybody, man. You know, if they, if they, you know, uh, if they were seeking after money, made money an idol, that's, that's a sin worthy of death, man. You co coveting another man's uh, uh, possessions, man. Covetousness is a sin word to get death, man. You know? Hey, man. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, adultery. Uh, you know? He, and uh, our Lord, he himself said, said, if you look at a woman uh, uh, and you already desire, you know, to, you know, uh, if you're already planning on uh, sleeping with that woman and, and she's she already has a man, then you already committed the sin. You know? So everybody's committed uh, sin worthy of death, but that's why Yahweh Shai, uh, he, he forgave us of our old paths, man, of, of our old sins. Um, I'm going to get that real quick. This is, um, I'm using uh, 1 Corinthians. Uh, Can I, got you, uh, I got you one right now. All right. Going back with the, the brother, the point made. Uh, this is um, Romans. Like it. This is Romans chapter 3, starting at verse 23. It says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hey, so hey, man, like the brother was getting to, man. Everybody have uh, committed sin, you know? And they, like the brother said, back in the day, the laws uh, uh, came with judgments, man. All right? You know? Uh, speedily, man. You mm -hmm. know? Hey, but now that we're under this grace, man, you know? Hey, man, we, we got the, 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 the mercies of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, you know, to where. And he, he forgives he forgives his elect man you know God. this is uh, Colossians chapter 2 verse 13 it says and you being dead in your sins and uncircumcision of your flesh have he quickened together with him with him having forgiven you all trespasses man you know it says in the uh, in the scriptures um I, I got it right here the second Corinthians 5 and 17 therefore if any man be in Hamashiach you know, which the ignorantly, ignorantly the world calls Christ. It says, therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. 
old things are passed away, behold, all things are become new. So us being dead in our in our sins, you know, the Lord quicken us and forgiving all our old trespasses, man. When we came into his knowledge, and, and, you know, uh, into knowing who he was, what he did for us, the, his truth, knowing who, who the real Israelites are, his his true name, you know, um, you know, uh, and his prophecies, everything, man, coming into his knowledge. The things were forgiven, man. But but um, um, can you get uh Romans uh six and oh, I I got it right here. So that's cool. Um, but but um, what what happens after that, man? You know, do you continue sinning? L let's see this. This is Romans chapter six, verse one. It says, "What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound?" Verse two. God forbid. For what shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein, man? Why would we continue living in sin after we just got our sins washed off, man? That doesn't even make any sense, man. You know, people read scriptures like uh, 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 the Second Corinthians 3 and 6 that we just read, talking about the letter killeth, and they say, oh, it's a bad thing, you know? Ooh, ooh, uh, the, the law was, was wrong. Ooh, you know, you can't, you can't do that no more, man. You know, and, and and they continue doing all all forms of wickedness, man. And you think your how about Shimei Shai is gonna come save that 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 vileness of your man, of your your ass, man? We 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 try to do the the loss to the best of our abilities, uh, uh, and if we mess up because of this flesh, who wars against the spirit, then then you may be forgiven, man. Yet you still have to seek repentance and, and forgiveness from your how about Shimei Shai, you know, um, mm -hmm. uh. Uh, Dua, can you read, read that uh, Romans uh, 7? Okay. Um, I had a scripture too, but I just... Uh, Romans 7 and 7. Okay. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? Is the law sin? God forbid. Is the law sin, man? <laughs> no, it's not. Go ahead. Nay, I had not known sin, but by the law, for I had not known lust, except the law has said, Thou shalt not covet. Covet, yep. Covet. You know? So the law is actually what tells us what's good and what's bad, man. You know? You would have known evil if it wasn't for for the law, man. Which really the law is is, is what the Lord, the most high Yahweh, gave to us to tell us what is the right way to live, man. That is his commandment, man. You know? So so for you to reject that, you're rejecting the knowledge of the most high, man. You know? Right. Uh, yeah, you, you had a precept, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, everyone, er, er, everyone in this world is not innocent, man. We all have committed sin. Uh, this, um, this is Job four and uh, seven. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished, being innocent, mm -hmm. or where, where were the righteous cut off? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, shit. Hey, people die every day, man, and mm -hmm. you know. Hey, fully, fully, uh, 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 you know, merecido, <laughs> how you say it in Spanish, but, you know, they deserved it, man. You know, they, you know, we all deserve death, man. That's right. That's why the, the, the grace of Yahweh by Shemi Shai and how he's forgiven us our old past by coming into this truth, uh, forgiving us our old sins, you know, for coming to his knowledge is, man, it's, it's bowels of mercy, man. Bowels of mercy, man. You know? You got your scripture? Okay. This is Hebrews 6. It's starting at chapter 4. It says, For it is impossible for those who are once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of the Most High and the powers of the world to come. It says, If they shall fall away, it says, To renew them again into repentance, seeing they crucify, it's like it's seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh, it says and put him to an open shame. Ooh. You know, say man, uh -huh. that's that that's that's what these people do, man. You know, the the ones that come in this truth, you know, learn this word, and then go back to their vomit, the the wickedness that they did in the world, man. All right, to come back into repentance, man. All right, that's that's basically you, hey, making your house shot go back on that cross. Hey, but guess uh -huh. what? That's not happening, man. You know, like the brother said, um, hey, what the scripture says, uh, he that uh, uh sin willfully, hey, there's no repentance, man. You know. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you go back in this world, man, knowing this truth, man, 
Hey, man. It, it don't matter if you circumcised, man. It don't matter if you wearing garments, man. All right, it don't matter if you reading the scriptures. All right, if you going off, man, you're not circumcised in the heart. Hey, it's not gonna matter, you know. Right. If you're going off willingly, man. That's right. You know, because we're gonna we're gonna go off in the That's flesh right. all the time, man. That's right. You know, but the thing is that that the Lord knows your heart, man. Mm -hmm. And that's using it in righteousness, man. Not saying the Lord knows my heart. He knows that I love him. I could do any manner of wickedness, and he's still going to, because he knows that I love him. Hey, love is an action, man. It's, it's not, not just some feeling, some giggly feeling that you feel inside, man. It's an action, something that you do for him. And then the scripture that says that... Uh what really love is is the scripture that says if you love me keep my commandments keep them i think that's in psalms or yeah i forgot where it's at yeah. Jay, like what you were saying that jake will find any excuse oh the lord knows my heart mm -hmm. so i'm gonna sin so he knows my heart still right he knows that i love him jake it's, is bored it's down. bullshit man can you, can you read that romans 7 yeah this romans 7 and 14 for we know that the law is spiritual but I am carnal, sold under sin. Exactly. So we're going to go off, man. We're sold under sin. Because the, the flesh uh, wars against the spirit, man. And, and the law is spiritual, man. That's why nobody could keep it, man. You know, because we were on, the, you know, we, we couldn't keep it because we were in this flesh, man. So keep going. For that which I do, I allow not for what I would. It says, for that which I do, I allow not. So this flesh goes off, but we 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 we, we don't want that, you know. That's right. For what I would, for what I would, that do, I not. That do I not. So what I would want to do, I don't even do do that because of this flesh. Go ahead. But what I hate, that I do. Yeah, because we hate uh, going off sin, which is well, how do you know that? How do you know sin? But by the law. Go ahead. Um. If then I do that which I will not, I consent unto the law that it is good. He can, The law is good. It tells you right there, man. The, the, the Paul consented to the law, man. He said it was good. Go ahead, 17. Now, now then it is no more I that do it, but the sin that dwelleth in me. And that's why you get forgiven for it when you mess up, man. Because it's this flesh, man. But you don't you don't do it willingly, man. You fight it. Verse verse eighteen breaks it down. I'll go ahead. For I know that in me there is it is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. Right. For to will For to will. For to will is present with me. So for to will the, the, the desire to do good, to not uh break the law, statutes and commandments is with me. For to that's good, man. He just said that the law is uh, is good with me, uh, uh, that the law is good, you know. It says, but to will is present with me, man. The desire to do good, man, and fighting towards it, you know, knowing that we're not going to be perfect, but we still do it, man. That shows your your faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai with works, man. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, brother. But how to perform that which, which is good, I find not. Hey, man, you know, sometimes the flesh be winning, man. And you know you, there's, you know you, you, you know no matter how far, how, how hard you fight it, man. That's right. <laughs> Just it is what it is, man. And that's why we need Yahweh. That's why we need Yahweh by Shmuel Right. But uh, I have right. a precept. This is sure. um, Sirach chapter five verse five. It says, concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin to sin, and say not his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him, and his indignation rests upon sinners. All right, you know? Hey, so, hey, that's what it says. It says, be not without fear to add sin upon sin. Because, yeah, of course we, you know, our flesh is weak, man. Sometimes we fuck up, you know? But like the scripture says in uh, Sirach, I uh, believe it's, I uh, know, 2nd Ezra 16. It says, uh, the last couple verses, it says, uh, it says, let not your sins lift themselves up, man. So, hey, mm -hmm. be not without fear to add sin upon sin, man. You uh. know? Because, hey, man, in this truth, man, hey, the flesh, man, can get weak, man. And once you go off, hey, man, you got to fight not to go off again. And don't say that the Lord is merciful, that he's going to be up, he's going to pacify, be pacified of my sins. Yeah, he is merciful. Hey, but like the scripture said, wrath and mercy coming from the Lord, man. You know? And that's why you got to have the fear of the Lord, man. Because the scripture says the fear of the Lord is understanding, man. You know? Uh, uh, I'm trying to get that in, in Sirach. 
It's a beautiful scripture, man. Um, but you get that Romans 2. Okay, okay. This is Romans 2, starting at verse 25. It says, For circumcision verily profiteth if thou keep the law. Right, and that, you know, and that was a big thing with circumcision. That, you know, uh, your circumcision after the flesh, you know, only way it really profits is if you're actually keeping the law, man. If you're actually going to right through righteousness, man. Because why? Keep going. It says, but if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. Right, so it, it don't matter if you're circumcised, it, it, you know, it, you know, you could be circumcised in the flesh, but if you're not circumcised in the spirit, if you're not following Yahweh Bashim Yahushai after righteousness, then then what does it profit to you? What does it even matter, man? That you that you sacrifice, uh, uh, that you cut in the flesh, man. That don't matter. You know, the the weightier matter is that you seek Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in spirit and in truth, man. You know, according to His righteousness, man. How He commanded us to live, man. Not however your vain opinion thinks, man. So go ahead. It says, therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, should not his circ uncircumcision... Of, of the what? It says, the righteousness of the law. Of the law. So if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, that's what's right, man. Go ahead. It says, should not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? Right. So even if you're uncircumcised in the flesh, if you're following the law, such as commandments, you know, the righteousness of it, then it should be made circumcision unto you, man. But even still, man, uh, uh, you know that law. You know the the back here in the uh, Acts. You know them them Jews were being uh, you know over righteous because cause they were saying if you weren't circumcised in the flesh, you can't be saved, man. No, the the weightier matter is to be circumcised, in, uh, you know, in righteousness, man. You know, but even still, these these were laws unto the Gentiles, man. These were laws unto unto men who were barely being converted, who didn't even they didn't even know that they that they were Israelites, man, and they they were just converted. So that's why they were given, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, they weren't given such a heavy labor, man. They weren't given such a heavy uh, toll, man. Um, yeah, right here, Acts fifteen and nine. It says, "Wherefore my sentence is that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to Yahweh, but that we write unto them that they abstain from pollution of idols and from fornication." And from things strangled and from blood, man. So these are the weightier matters, man. Not following after idols, man. Fornication, man. Following after other doctrines, man. Uh, aside from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know? These are these are the things, man. The Lord wants you to follow him in spirit and in truth. You know? According to correct doctrine, man. Because that he, he only he only wants you to worship him in a certain type of way, man. You can't just do it any old type of way. Everything's in order, man. The Lord does everything decently and in order, man. Not in confusion. Like like you would have it, man. You know? Uh, you got some? Yeah, I got some right here. This is Matthew 15. And um, I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy unto you, saying, This people drive nigh unto me with their mouth, and mm -hmm. honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. All right, so, hey, man, if... if if you if you think man just getting uh circumcision in the flesh man is, is going is gonna is gonna save you when you're not keeping the law statutes and commandments to the best of your ability man, all right, hey man that that's off man that's that's not that's not according to the scriptures man you drawing near the Lord with with your mouth man saying hey do this do this and do that but, hey man but you going off man your heart is far from the Lord man, you know, mm -hmm. and that, and that's the same thing as uh the the uh, the wicked Pharisees and Sadducees was doing man. Going clean off, making the house of the Lord a, 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 um, a merchant's house, you know? But then coming out, uh, um, just trying to be all, uh, what, what, what's the uh, saying? Uh, uh, I can't I can't remember. But just trying to be like all, like you all righteous and shit, man. You know? Uh, pious? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, they're trying to look all like holier right. than yeah, thou. Holier than thou, that's what it is. Yeah. You know, holier than thou. Come. But, it, but inwardly, you going clean off. Huh. Yeah, and those are the two extremes of it, man. You know, you you think that you're righteous because you say you follow the whole law, and then you become all prideful. You know that that's why it's not of works, uh, cause lest ye boast, man. That's right. You know. Yep, that's right. But but hey, hey hey, it still says in James that that the faith was made perfect through works. Now is that a contradiction? You, man, you gotta have understanding to, uh, to to see that balance, man. You know. So, 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 so those are the two extremes, 
you, you could say that you're keeping the law of work uh, after works and then be all prideful or you could or you could be a, a wicked ass nigga not keeping the law at all man you gotta meet it flat in the middle as a balance man strive to keep the law statutes and commandments to the best of your ability and and, and, uh, and when you fall repent see how about Shimmy Yao Shai who 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 uh who has bowels of mercy, man? That's right. You know who is mighty mighty to save, man. Mighty to forgive, man. You know can, can you get that uh in um uh, uh rehearse the righteous act? Can I, can I? Um, this is uh are you guys right now? Yeah, real so. quick. This is uh, uh Ecclesiastes chapter five verse four. Uh, I'm gonna read verse two. It says, "Follow not thy own own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart." And say not, who shall control me for thy works? For the Lord will surely revenge thy pride, man. Either way, it's both both of it is pride, man. When you, when you say, oh, yeah, I'm keeping the laws to the best of my... Uh, no, I'm keeping the laws perfectly, which nobody can do that. That's pride. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing your own thing, not following the law, statutes, and commandments at all, that's pride in itself, too. Because mm -hmm. you think that you know best, man. Which you know? says, uh... uh Pride is when uh, it's the beginning of when the creature depart from the maker. Exactly, exactly. Verse four it says, "For say not, say not, I have sinned, and what harm hath happened unto me? For the Lord is long suffering; He will in no wise let thee go." <laughs> it says, "For the Lord is long suffering; He will no wise let you go." So don't mm -hmm. say that um, that you have sinned and, and, and that uh, nothing's gonna happen to you because the Lord uh, is long suffering. No, you're supposed to try to sin less, man. You know? So, because that's a prideful statement, man. You know? Verse 5, it says, Concerning propitiation, be not weary. Uh, Salaki. Concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. Now, let's go see what sin is. Real quick. First John 3 and 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is transgression of the law, man. So don't be weary to add sin unto sin, man. Verse 6. And say not his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him. And his indignation rested upon sinners, man. That's right. You know? And yeah, we're all sinners. But the thing that separates us is that we're not all like, Oh, the Lord forgive me. I'm going to go ahead and, and fuck this man's wife, man. Lord forgive me. We're not doing that, man. You're fighting against your spirit. Uh, you're fighting against your flesh uh, 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 to, to, to not sin, man. And the Lord should look up, look good upon that, man. Mm -hmm. And I got this Judges for you. Bible this is stuff. Judges 5, verse 11. It says, They that are delivered from the noise of the arches in the place of drying waters, they shall, mm -hmm. there shall they rehearse yeah, the, 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 yeah. shall they rehearse the righteous acts yeah. of the Lord, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of the of his villages in Israel, then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Right. Go ahead. Con, hey, like, like the scripture that the brother just brought out, man. Hey, he just says, those that rehearse the righteous acts, man, mm -hmm. you know, shall be delivered from the noise of the arches, man. Mm -hmm. All right, because this place, America, will be destroyed, man, by thermal nuclear uh, missiles, man. You mm -hmm. know, ICBMs, you yeah. know. Hey, didn't we just read the righteousness of the law? So those are the righteous acts, man, you know. That's what's gonna save us, and and that scripture is talking about when we we get take taken to the place of drawing water. That's that's in the place of slavery, because Israel kept going into slavery, you know. Which the real Israelites are the so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're in our last captivity now, man. How much more now should we be seeking after the Most High, man? That's right. Oh, Bob yeah. Shai, yeah, if you got him. This is Romans uh, three and thirty-one. Do we then make void the law? Through faith, God forbid. Yeah, we established the law. We established the law, man. Because in this world, all wickedness, uh, wicked laws are out here, man. S uh, social accepted laws are out here. But we established the law of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man. And they look at him, oh, why does that man eat pork, man? Oh, oh, why does that man carry a beard, man? Oh, why, why doesn't that man, why isn't that man pussy whipped by his woman? <laughs> you know? Hey, these things, man, that, you know, we establishing them, man. We're, we're establishing, hey, Ecclesiastes uh, uh, 12 tells you uh, that's that's a whole man, man. 
That's that's the that's the that's the whole duty of man. That's the whole that's duty right. of man to yeah. fear Yahweh and to keep his and, and keep his commandments. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. you know that's how it, you know really they they they're saying that, but yeah. spiritually they're saying, look, there goes a real man. There goes a real man. You know, I'm gonna read it real quick. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. That's how. That's what a man should be doing. That's his duty. To keep his commandments and fear Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, man. You know? Uh, you got... Um, Baba Kusha. This is Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. And that was yeah, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Shai, speaking, man. That's right. You know? He said it himself. He didn't, he didn't come to bash the law man he gave to give grace unto those that diligently seek him and still and still messed up because because of his flesh man you know he gave us a way back man because back then if you sin you know you you got the full recompense of that man you know and, and right now uh, our sins are being forgiven uh are are uh you know the ones that would that, that aren't willingly man you know Come yeah. on, man. And, uh, how you call it and the whole Bible is the whole laws. There's, there's not how you people be like. All oh, the Old Testament doesn't, it doesn't matter no more. Or the New Testament doesn't matter no more. Hey, the Lord said He comes through the whole volume of the book. That's right. So, the whole book is the law, man. That's right, man. And if you love, if you say you love the Most High, hey, the Scripture says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right. That's right. So, that's right. You got another one. Yeah, that was good. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you read uh, this one? You know, because we explained that the axe was uh, for the Gentiles, man. Right? But but check this out. It says, Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision, by that which is called the circumcision, it, in the flesh made by hands. Right. So it's saying in past times you were Gentiles, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so eventually, you know, like, yeah, you know, when you come into the truth, uh, they are, you know, the weightier matters, how we read over here in Acts, uh, um, you know, uh, I think it was, uh, what was it? Yeah, verse 20, you know, uh, polluting your, uh, from idols and from fornication, from things strangled and from blood. Um, but, at, you know, those are the beginning things, man. You know, after that, you start taking back your heritage, man. Mm -hmm. You know, this is in, in, uh, uh, in Jeremiah 17 and 4, it says uh, Israel shall lose their heritage. You know, and then uh, uh, in Baruch, it tells you that in the land uh, uh, of their captivity, they shall remember themselves, man. You know, so so we're coming back into the customs of uh, uh, of the true Hebrew Israelites, man, because we are the true Hebrew Israelites, man. Right, not them fake Jewish people over there in Israel. Exactly, man. So so we when we first come in, we take the weightier matters, but but then we continue on, man. Once we you know uh, 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 you know we start taking in more and more, man. Like, you know, when I first came in here, uh, I kept hearing it over and over again, man. You don't become an Israelite overnight, man. You know, you, you, you learn the way to your matters, and, and then, you know, you start following the other laws too, man. You know? So the whole thing, everything is, is, uh, is um, you know, we, we keep it to the best of our abilities, man. Romans 6 and 1, shall we continue in sin uh, uh, that grace may abound? Yeah, how forbid, man. You know? Yeah, that's that's, right. that, that's pretty much and, it. Um, I'm just back with the brother, you know, cause they like he getting into. It. Then, then was the then was the beginner, the beginner stages, man, you know. And then and uh, and uh, apostles understood that. Paul understood that, you know. Hey, man, that you can't just throw all this on 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 one man so quickly, man. Mm -hmm. That he got to grow in his truth. But this was um, Luke 17 and 5. It says, and the apostles said unto the Lord, increase our faith. And the Lord said, if ye had faith, a as a grain of a mustard seed. Ye might say unto this sacrament tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it shall obey. All right, so even the apostles, man, the apostles wanted their faith increased. All right, and the Lord told them, If you have mm -hmm. faith to see, to see the size of a mustard seed, and the mustard seed grows into one of the biggest trees, man, uh -huh. you know, and that's that's our faith in this truth, man. The longer we we endure temptations and, and overcome trials and tribulations, man, our faith grows in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. 
and then we can, you know, uh, uh, start putting an extra foot forward, man. You know, if you're a man of the Lord, man, or else you're just gonna get blown by the wind, you know. Yeah, that nuclear wind, man. That's right. <laughs> you know, and and pretty much it all boils down to this, man. In in the, in the Old Testament, the Most High He gave you what was right and what was wrong, what was well pleasing unto Him and what was not well pleasing unto Him. If you being brought back, why? Why would you forsake what he told you in the beginning? What was good, man? If if he if he you know he's mad at, at the whole world right now, and he's giving you a way to come back, why would you forsake uh, 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 the the good things that he told you to do, man? That's just simple, man. If you're gonna come into the good, you want to come into the good grace of somebody else, you're gonna do the things that they desire of you, man. That's just simple, man. You know, but you know the simple aren't gonna get it. I mean, uh, you know, the, the 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 these reprobates out here aren't gonna get it, you know. That's right. It says yeah. the you know? uh, natural man is spiritually discerned. You know, I I want to say simple because you know we all come in here simple, not knowing nothing. We're in the world, man. Mm. You know, but we we increase from that, man. And I want to say reprobates because they stay simple, man. You know, and that's just what it is, man. After yeah. hearing the word. Exactly, exactly. You know, you can't tell them nothing, man. Bro, this is. There's all Proverbs 1 and 22. That's right. Exactly, man. You know? Yeah. Hey, hey, for those who reject the word, get ready the most high uh, to laugh at your calamities, man. And to reject you. Exactly, man. You know? So, hey, you know, with that, hopefully the elect out there was edified. Uh, we're going to end by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, double honesty, the apostle, great Milson, who rule and teach well. And uh, shalom to the elect out there, pushing out the word into uh, truth and sincerity, man. Stay strong, man. We're almost out of here, bro. Shalom. Shalom. And a bob a ball. A bob a ball. That's right.